Mandela International Day is an annual international day celebrated each year on 18th July as Mandela's birthday. The day was officially declared by the United Nations on November 2009 with the first UN Mandela Day held on 18th July 2010. Nelson Mandela was born into the Madiba clan in the village of Mwizo on July 18, 1918. He was born to Henry M. Fakanyiswa, a Tembu chief, and Nosekini Fani in Kunu in the Umtata district of the Transki, at the time when virtually all of Africa was under the European colonial rule. While he was born in the Eastern Cape village of Wiso, the only son of his father's third wife, Nelson Mandela spent most of his early childhood in Kunu. In the first part of his autobiography, Long Walk to Freedom, Mandela describes his upbringing as a child and adolescent in South Africa and being connected to the royal Tembu dynasty. His childhood name was Holy Shasa, which is loosely translated as pulling the branch of a tree or a euphemism for troublemaker. His childhood was filled with training and education. He attended a local missionary school, a boarding school, and then a Methodist secondary school. Mandela was a multi-sport athlete. He was involved in boxing as well as track and excelled at both. Mandela was deeply influenced by his early education in Methodist church schools. The instruction he received there set Mandela on a path leading away from some African tribal traditions. He attended primary school in Kinyu, where his teachers gave him the name Nelson following the custom of giving all school children Christian names. Mandela began his studies for an arts degree at the University College of Fort Hare, but did not complete the degree there as he was expelled for joining in a student strike. After being expelled, Mandela received a degree in law from the University of South Africa. Nelson Mandela attended South African Native College and studied law at the University of the Witwatersrand. He later passed the qualification exam to become a lawyer. In 1944, he joined the ANC, a black liberation group, and became a leader of its youth league. That same year, he met and married Evelyn Nutcomes. Mandela subsequently held another ANC leadership position through which he held many organizations and opposed the apartheid policies of the ruling National Party. During the 1950s and early 1960s, Nelson Mandela frequently found himself in police station cells and prison cells for short periods of time, as his political work made him a target for the apartheid regime. After the banning of the African National Congress in 1960, he went underground in 1961 and became the leader of NK, the armed wing of the Congress. In 1962, he was captured and sentenced to five years in prison for leaving the country illegally and inciting a strike. In 1963, he joined other NK leaders in the Rivonia trial, at the end of which he was sentenced to life for sabotage. He was finally released from prison in 1990 after over 27 years of unbroken incarceration. Nelson Mandela was a socialite activist, politician and a philanthropist who became South Africa's first black president from 1994 to 1999. After becoming involved in the anti-apartheid movement in his days, Mandela joined the African National Congress in 1942. Ideologically an African nationalist and a socialist, he served as the president of African National Congress Party in 1991 to 1997. Long Walk to Freedom is an autobiography written by South African President Nelson Mandela. The book profiles his early life, coming of age, education, and 27 years in prison. Under a parity government, Mandela was regarded as a terrorist and jailed for his role as the leader of the then outlawed African National Congress. He later achieved international recognition for his leadership as president. The last chapters of the book describe his political ascension and his belief that the struggle still continued against apartheid in South Africa. Let me conclude with the famous quote by Nelson Mandela, A nation should not be judged by how it treats its highest citizens, but its 
Nelson Mandela strongly believed in democracy, equality and learning. Despite being repeatedly provoked, he never answered racism with racism. He has always been an inspiration in South Africa to all to the world who has always opposed deprivation and oppression.